we are getting our first look this morning at the wife of the shooter, Omar Mateen. She returned to their home in Fort Pierce, Florida, late last night to pick up some belongings. She needed a locksmith to help her get inside. Family members and former friends are painting very different pictures of the gunman. David Begno is outside Mateen's condo complex, about 100 miles from Orlando. David, good morning. Nora, good morning. This is the first time we got a picture of the wife who showed up late last night, obviously timing her arrival for when reporters had left. She was surrounded by police, left with a duffel bag, got into a vehicle with a child. We are unsure if that child is the child of the shooter. Here at the apartment complex, we have talked to neighbors who call the suspect bizarre, and they find it interesting that he was driving a car that had a NASA bumper sticker and a U.S. Marine Corps license plate. Here's video from one neighbor of police going through that car. Amateur video shot by a neighbor shows FBI investigators carefully looking through the car that belongs to the gunman. It was parked in the parking lot of the Fort Pierce apartment complex where Mateen lived. Investigators also removed evidence from his apartment. We spoke with one neighbor who called Mateen socially awkward. Was there something suspicious about him? The only thing I found suspicious about him was when you said good morning or how you doing, he would just look at you with a, a blank stare almost, cold eyes. Police also searched a home belonging to Mateen's father in nearby Port St. Lucie. We sat down with the father, Sadiq Mateen. He admitted what his son did was an act of terrorism, but he insisted his son was not a terrorist. Did Omar have mental illness that you knew of? He, I, 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 I never noticed that because he was attentive to his work and his family and was coming very respectful. Had his behavior it, it changed the, recently? The whole thing is a surprising to me. As I said that, yeah. I don't want you to repeat, ask me the same question times and times. I think that I know as much as you do, I, I don't approve of as what he did. And especially he, what he did was inside the United States, that's a home. The president of the United States has called your son's actions terrorist. That's what I say. Do you agree? I, that's what I say. What he did was, it was act of terrorism. You believe your son was a terrorist? No, what he did was. But do you believe he it's important to note that this interview with the father, he initially had the idea that he was going to use it as a pulpit. He wasn't really interested in answering questions. He was a bit evasive and confusing at times. But, Gail, we have to remember, he did lose a son. And another quote he gave to a local reporter was, I won't miss anything about him. What he did was against humanity. Yes, coming from the own, his father, that says a lot. Thank you very much, David.